Can you tell us a little bit of what is global debt in a macroeconomic context? Well, global debt is, uh, is just the debt held by all parties in the economy added up and then in all the economies in the, in the world. So in that sense, it's not different from individual debt. But there is a macroeconomic thing about it that you don't see on the micro, on the individual level. And this is that if too many people are getting into debt problems, that might lead to uh, macroeconomic problems. But is own, if only a few people or a few firms are, are getting into debt problems and they may go bankrupt, that doesn't have to be a macroeconomic problem. On the contrary, that's happening every week and it's, it's part of the normal economic process. So that is a big difference between micro and macro. It's the scale. Yeah, and if I can relate it to the poll, because I held a poll uh, which says, is global debt really such a big problem? Because sort of the, the reason for this chat is this graph that I will show people now from the IMF, which basically says global debt is at historic heights and it makes a difference between public debt, so government debt, it makes a difference between household debt, so people you know like you and me, and also between uh, corporations. Uh, and so the poll was, is this really such a big problem that debt has increased? And, you know, I could argue, I guess, that it's not such a big problem because uh, not only has the debt increased, so has the amount of assets because people, unlike a normal person who is in debt, that's a liability for this person. That's often a bad thing. Uh, but in the global economy, everyone's debt is someone else's asset. So uh, maybe it's uh, completely normal that if an economy grows, that debt also grows. And so maybe this is just a sign that the economy is great, b better than ever. What do you think of that, Dirk? Yeah, so partly I can go along with that. Debt is one of the greatest inventions made by humanity ever. If we couldn't make debt agreements, which is the same as credit agreements with each other, the economy could not grow and develop. And if all that debt, all that credit was used to be invested productively and to grow the economy, uh, preferably in a sustainable way even, then you would see an increase in debt and an increase in the economy that was roughly at the same pace, the same speed. And mm -hmm. you would not see a growth of debt faster than the total economic output and all the incomes earned together, which is the GDP, the gross domestic product. So this is why in reports by the IMF and by financial institutions, you often see reports of debt relative to GDP. That, that's yeah. the thing to watch. So growth of debt is okay if it goes together with growth of GDP, because that means incomes are also growing. And you need to repay debt from income so that then there is no sustainability problem, no financial fragility problem, no debt crisis risk. But the thing is, debt has been growing much faster than GDP. 